It is homecoming at BC Rain High School. And tonight you've got the Red Raiders being honored with a legend. Well, those cheers are for former BC Rain head football coach and principal Ben Glover. The school naming its new stadium after him tonight for four decades of service to the community. Many of the alums showing up tonight just for Coach Glover. When the process started, the school board president, Sherry McDade, said that she was inundated with emails and phone calls, all giving one name for that stadium. And that was Coach Ben Glover. So I just think it's great that the community is out here. They're embracing Mr. Glover. Mr. Glover has been a steward for this community, and I think we, we got great representation on the parkway with Mr. Ben Glover. He really, he led so many of us in so many ways when we didn't even know in such a positive way that we all have been influenced by Mr. Glover, he and his wife, Miss Ann, too. He does not forget any names, any families. He remembers my parents' names, my brothers. He never forgets a face or a name of any anybody that he's taught through the years. That says a lot. Amazing man. Yes. Amazing. I feel, I feel real honored. Yeah. I really do. What's it like to see all these alumni? It's an experience I've never had before. Yeah. They love you. Yeah. I appreciate that too. <laughs> Fox 10 News Lee Pank caught up with the man you just saw that there for who's a legend on the parkway. And now he has a stadium in his name to prove it. Long before the stadium was ever built, 87 year old Ben Glover recalls the phone call in 1964 from BC Rain's principal about becoming the school's next head football coach. I wondered if I was interested in the job. I told him, yes, I was. I remember they were working, paving the parkway I hear in. And came down and talked with him. And it's a job he kept for four years before being promoted to assistant principal and eventually principal. One thing that sort of fascinated me was the fact that, that uh, being the principal of, of, of students that, uh, that uh, I had coached their daddy. That was, you know, interesting to me. And I From the 60s to the 90s, Glover was there for four decades. Well, he was he was very hands on principal. His son, former state representative Rusty Glover, says even though his dad was tough, he was loved by the students. And we were very proud of my dad and and the students, whether the ones who got in trouble or not, um, uh, they respected him and and uh, we could appreciate that when the when the the, the bad kids uh, respected him and loved him. Uh, that was something very special to have as a father. He wanted you to do things right. Matter of fact, he demanded that you do things right. Uh, always there for you, always there for you. Before BC Rain, Glover was assistant football coach at Murphy, where he also coached baseball. This picture is of him and senior Ed Lathan to the right. Right at the end of the season, he says, are you interested in playing in college? And I said, yes, I'd love to play college baseball. He says, okay, I'm gonna make a call. Next thing I know, I'm in Mississippi State. Never been there before, didn't even know where it was, but he got me there, and that was my first step. Glover would help hire him on at BC Rain. As head football coach, Lathan, too, eventually worked his way up to administrator, learning a lot from Glover. If you knew him as Coach Glover, you have to thank him for what he taught you. If you know him, knew him as Principal Glover, you had to thank him for what he did for you. He is that community. He is that community. It was a heart attack in 1990 that forced Glover to retire from the job he loved. He'd worked part time at the University of Mobile, still living a mile and a half from BC Rain. Those morning drives were heartbreaking. When I would leave here in the mornings, going from here to Mobile College, I, I would, when I'd meet those school buses, I'd nearly cry. I'd have tears in my eyes because I missed it. I did miss it. Even after retirement, he's continued cheering on the Red Raiders, at one time going to 250 games straight. And he always enjoys running into former students, even remembering their names. When they want, want to take a, a, selfie. a selfie with me. I, 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 I gratified at that, I really am. 
So you've gotten pretty good at taking, you, you, when they say, hey, let's take a selfie. You no, do I, they, they do the taking, I stand there and smile. For his outstanding service and love for the Parkway community, they're now thanking him the best way they know how. The new stadium will forever bear his name, a tribute to his legacy. Very proud and honored. I, I feel humbled. I don't feel like I need, you know, I deserve it. And a lot of people here tonight would have to disagree. At Ben Glover Stadium, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.